So, 12 valve, six liter turbo. What you gotta do, weld a T3 flange onto the Garrett, so cut the V-band off, because if you run that adapter you can buy online, it sticks the turbo out too far here and it'll actually hit the inner fender and your downpipe would be way over. Now, if I were to do this again, I would make a jig because that flange warped right on the back here. So I get an exhaust leak uh, when the engine's cold. And I would also not do what I did here and weld this cast V-band on because it chokes down the exhaust quite a bit but it's just what I had at the time. But I am gonna buy a six liter downpipe and weld the V-band to the pipe and make that work. That way it's full four inch all the way up. And then I also need to make an intake elbow. I just have a filter slapped on for now. And then these adapters you can buy online. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the thread is, but that adapter is male, so the that cup that threads into the top of your stock HX35 would usually thread right into the top of the turbo, but on this, it's just a hole, so there's no threads. You have to buy this adapter. And I can't really show you, but the drain tube is welded on too. Um, I took the stock drain tube off and cut it in half and shortened it, and then wel welded it on where the bend aims down towards the uh, other side of the rubber pickup on the side of the engine and it works pretty good i haven't had any leaks or anything other than that exhaust leak but i know for next time to uh make a jig for that it's pretty straightforward and then all you got to do for the vane control as far as i know ford uses a pulse width signal but uh all you need to do is vary vary the voltage that controls your veins so the more voltage you give it the the more closed the veins are so if you don't run power to it at all the veins are wide open and you'll you'll not you'll never build boost that way um but it's pretty easy you just need a potentiometer um i tapped mine into the dimmer switch inside the cab and i believe it is the brown wire with a white tracer on the back and um yeah, it's not that hard. It's just, it's kind of a lot of fucking around when you first mock it all up. And uh, obviously you want to make sure, you know, nothing's going to rub. Like my downpipe is real close to the firewall, but it doesn't rub, which is good. And then you just have to make an elbow for down there for your air to air pipe and you're good to go.